honestly, like, when, when we were initially going, pushing from Kuwait into Iraq, uh, I, I think I was just, every, I think everybody was just really on, like, high alert. Like, everybody had their rifles kind of pointed out, just in the, at the ready, um, just really nervous, not, not knowing what to expect. Working in an aid station where you'd see patients coming in of all sorts of, you know, American soldiers, Iraqis, civilians, or enemy. And, I mean, we'd see it all. It was pretty intense. I remember a scene where we were sitting down, um, and this, this was like within the first like two weeks. Um, we're sitting down and in our trucks. I was reading a, a book, and I, I hear an explosion. You see, it almost looks like like a mushroom cloud going up. I'm like, what is that? And I look over, and my NCO sitting to my right. He's like, oh, it looks like it's off post. I mean, we'll hear about it if we hear about it, but you know, just wait on it. And like maybe 45 seconds later. Um, one of, some other you know, NCO, another sergeant comes out and he's like, go, 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 that was on post, that was on our actual camp. And it turns out that like soldiers were kind of walking out in the distance, so I think, I forget, I don't know what doing, what, maybe like patrolling or something, and they uh, tripped over this UXO and it blew up and, and we were able to kind of stabilize them, put them in our uh, Humvee and uh, take them over to the airfield and we had aviation elements at that point. We got them loaded up on the helicopter and uh, they were able to get out of there. How are you doing? Um, I'm hanging in there. I have my days, good days, bad days. You know, Michael is always on my mind. I think of him every night. I pray every night. You know that that he, I'm gonna dream about him. <laughs> you know. Uh, you pray that you'll dream about him. Oh yeah, I I want to dream about him. I haven't dreamt about him. <laughs> Not too much. Little things, but I, I want to have a real good dream about him. My name is Sergeant Ryan. And I decided to join the Marines because my father was a Marine. <laughs> I signed it at 17. And tell me a little bit about your, your career. Your mom said you did two tours. She was just telling me about a conversation you had in the kitchen before your second tour when you said, you know, Mom, how would you feel about me going back? Why did you decide to, to stay in and to go back? Because it's my honor. <laughs> It's my duty. I do it in a second. Like that. Without the blink of an eye. You know, it's not mentioned that there's a lot in the news anymore, you know, when, when men die. Because they're still dying. It's not talked about a lot. So I, I think for myself, I, I, I keep up on things because of that. Because I don't want to ever forget, you know, and there are men still serving, and, you know, I know a couple of Michael's buddies have gone back over, so they're still there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, not that I have to every day find out what happened, but, you know, you just kind of keep up on some things, you know, like, this is great what's happening now with the president bringing home 12,000 troops because he feels that, you know, it's the time. <clears throat> you know, they're doing better for themselves, and, then, you know, the training is going all right. But my thing is that, you know, the whole area is always going to be a hot spot. <laughs> we're going to have to have a presence there for a long, long time. But it's good that we're cutting back. He's going to get it, Joe. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> it's happening, Captain. Breathe. Oh, Look oh, at this! Oh my god! Holy cow! Whoa! Look at this. Good job! Good job, Holy buddy! Holy cow! Never did that. <laughs> no, no. This is the first time. Look at him! Holy cow, Ed!